What's up guys, so coming to the end of 2016 I thought we'd do a little update video on mods, progress that I've made with the Fiesta since I got it back in April. Um, so we'll start off with the interior. Uh, back, if you've seen the previous video, um, you will know that um, the only thing that I did to the interior was the dead pedal down here which of course is still in place with the um, slightly modified red ST logo. Um, but since then, um, we have added the piano black door handles, obviously on both sides. Stock, we're just um, a sort of plain matte plastic. Um, then over here, the center console, we've added the also piano black uh, center console um, thingy bob, <laughs> um, which that in combination with the handles um, ties together with this piece up here, which um, originally is the only piece that comes in piano black. The rest uh, or uh, stock is just the, your matte black. I think it's just um, it ties it all together nicely. Uh, it, it just makes it pop a little more. Uh, we have the mountain leather gator, uh, slightly higher quality leather with the yellow stitching. And then the matching yellow and black Mountain uh, gear knob, aluminium and resin top. So that's it for the interior. If we move outside of the car then. We have the front splitter from Triple R Composites. Now this is the V3 splitter which you can tell by the sort of indentation that runs along here. The V1 just goes like straight across. The V2 I think uh, comes up and then uh, down. Um, but I just like this one just because I like a flat look, um, but then I also like the way that it sort of follows the line of um, the bodywork, the ex existing bodywork. So that's, that's for the outside. And then if we go under the bonnet, if you've seen the previous video, you'll know that I had already got the Boomba Racing uh, oil cap and the Boomba Racing red aluminium uh, battery tie down. So since then, I have added a couple more uh, cover uh, cap covers for the um, the brake fluid and the coolant over here. Uh, those just go on top of the existing uh, caps and are secured by uh, these little um, grub screws which you tie in with the little allen key that they provide. And then also, if you look in here, we have the uh, oil dipstick handle, um, all in matching red aluminium. Just makes it pop a little bit under the hood and just brightens everything up a little bit. In the previous video as well, um, I had already the Mountain intake hose, silicone hose. Uh, but since then, we have added the full uh, Mountain cold air intake system, the uh, aluminium air box, um, and also, of course, we have the KN air filter under there as well. The, there is also then, of course, the secondary air, cold air feed, which sits uh, just underneath, underneath the, the light that's kind of just above the front fog light. Um, that's an aeroplane. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's all we've got at this point. There is another item that is on order, um, which should have arrived a while back. It should have arrived by now, but unfortunately, unfortunately it has not. Um, I did contact the company and they said it was due to um, stock issues, and staff issues and everything. But uh, hopefully that should um, come. Yeah, that should be arriving sometime early January. Um, you can probably, based on what we've got here, you can probably guess what that might be. Um, if you think you know, stick a comment in the comment section below. Um, make sure you're subscribed as well, so that uh, you see that I might be making a video on that when that arrives. Um, if you have any other ideas, suggestions, things that you've done. Also stick down in the comment section below. Um, cheers, I'll see you soon. Bye.